Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome to another video. Today we are at Trader Joe's. It is time for a huge frozen item easy meal stock up. So if you've been subscribed to my channel, you know that we just bought a house and we are going to be in the process of moving and painting and doing a few little minor renovations. And so we're going to be pretty tired after working and then doing that. And so we're not going to want to, you know, cook a big meal. So no. we are going to go into Trader Joe's and grab some um, of our favorite uh, frozen items and stock our freezer up to prepare for the next two weeks. So let's go. Soup dumplings? No? None? Or do you want the other bread? What the heck is cow rose rice? Almond butter nuggets? Yeah, the boba, but I haven't seen it. Oh, they've got a coffee bean hold the cone. This is mine. All right, guys, we are back from Trader Joe's and we spent a hundred and twenty-five or one hundred twenty-two dollars this week to get a bunch of frozen foods to stack up our freezer for our move. So let's go through all the frozen stuff first um, so that way I can get it put back into the freezer. So we'll start up here. I haul these every time. We love these Trader Joe's hash browns. These are better than McDonald's. They are so good and they're only two bucks. Um, we always get these. Now this is something we haven't tried yet. This is the Mexican style roasted corn with cojita cheese. And this looks really good. And the guy at the checkout said it was really good too. So we grabbed this to go as a side with some frozen Mexican options, which I'll show in a minute. These are another staple for us, the pork goiza pot stickers. We got two of these. We love to pair this with the Japanese style fried rice, which we got two of as well. That makes like the perfect easy dinner. We grabbed the beef and broccoli this week. This isn't something we um, always pick up, but it is a good option um, for a quick meal. And we did try this in our um, Asian um, Trader Joe's Asian food um, taste test, which I'll link above if you haven't seen that. And this one is a pretty good option. Then we got the um, authentic Indian bread. I always butcher this name, so I'm just gonna call it that. Um, we really like this. Um, we like the naan, but we have been really enjoying this too. So we grabbed this to go with some of our frozen Indian um, pickups, and I'll show you those next. We got the Palak paneer, one of our favorites. Um, also got the paneer tikka masala, which was actually um, one that we quite liked when we did our Indian um, taste test. This was really good. And then we got the butter chicken. Normally we like to get the um, uh, tikka masala chicken, but they were not, uh, they were out of it. So we grabbed the butter chicken um, instead. So we grabbed those for an option. We also grabbed the pork and ginger soup dumplings. These are really yummy, uh, microwave really nicely and have a great flavor. Some desserts that we grabbed, these are brand new. These are the coffee bean hold the cones. We love the hold the cones. The pumpkin ones are so good. I love those. The chocolate chip ones are really good and I'm excited to try the coffee bean. I'm sure it's gonna be good. I love coffee ice cream, so this is exciting. We also grabbed the um, chocolate peanut butter mochi. This is one of our favorite mochis. When we did our mochi taste test, we really both loved the taste of these. Then these were the two Mexican options that I was talking about um, to pair with the corn over here. We got the chicken and cheese tamales. David really likes these. We got two packs of that. And then I grabbed the chicken burritos. I have not actually tried these yet, but um, these sounded pretty good to pair with the corn. And then lastly, one of our staples every time is the mandarin orange chicken. We always get this great for an easy meal and will help us um, keep us from not ordering takeout while we're doing this whole move. So let me get all of this frozen stuff put away and I will bring out the next batch of stuff. Okay, here is the next section of things that we got, some more easy meals and um, a few of the new items, some new snacks, so stay tuned for that. Let's go over the pastas that we grabbed. So I love, love, love Trader Joe's raviolis. They have some amazing raviolis. 
and we grabbed a few different ones. Um, ravioli is just such an easy um, option for a dinner. So this one we haven't tried yet. This is the ricotta and lemon zest. We also haven't tried this one, the porcini mushroom and truffle ravioli. These two we have tried and loved both of these, the cacao e pepe and the um, butternut squash. These are both very good. So I'm excited to see how these two are. Another easy pasta choice, um, some classic mac and cheese. We like the white cheddar and shells. We've got two of those. Grab some pancetta to go with one of the pastas. I don't know which one yet. Probably the mushroom. I think that sounds good with that. Grab the unexpected cheddar. We always grab this. This is our favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. It's just so good and goes great as a snack. One of my favorite um, easy dinner options. I think I haul this every time I do Trader Joe's haul because it's just so easy and so good. We get the traditional carnitas from the refrigerated section, and then we get the coleslaw kit and the um, mini flour tortillas. And then these three things together just make the easiest dinner. It is so simple and so good. Back here, we just needed some more salt and we needed um, some more wine, needed, right? <laughs> and then over here, some new items. Actually, I'm not sure if this is new. David snuck this in the cart. I don't think it's new. These are the Lacey's Cookies Dark Chocolate Almond. Um, these look pretty good. Um, and then let's show you some of the new stuff. So this was on our new shelf. This is the Sparkling Ginger and Lemon Apple Cider Vinegar Beverage. So this should be interesting to try. It sounds pretty good. I love ginger and lemon. Um, apple cider vinegar is like iffy for me. So we'll see if um, it being like this sparkling beverage, if it's a little better. Then some exciting new snacks. We are very excited to try these. These are the these are the fruit chewy candy, basically Trader Joe's version of Starbursts. These look good, so hopefully they are good. And it looks like they have like all the same like colors as Starbursts. So we'll see how those are. These ones are new as well, almond butter almonds. So almonds covered in almond butter. And then to keep going with the almond butter, I feel like Trader Joe's, whenever they put out new items, they like put out similar like flavored things sometimes. And so they've got these almond butter filled pretzel nuggets. And these are pretty big pretzel nuggets, good size pack. And um, I love their peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Those are a great um, item to snack on. So I'm excited to try how these um, almond butter filled ones taste. And then lastly, oh my gosh, I love wafer cookies. Like, oh gosh, I'm so excited to try this. This is a chocolate covered wafer cookie with peanut butter filling. It just sounds so good. I really love wafer cookies. So I think that is going to be quite tasty. Okay guys, that is everything for today's haul. Like I said, we spent $122 on everything that I showed you guys and we got a bunch of great options for um, easy dinners for our move because we're just gonna be so busy with going between our apartment and our house and getting things ready and I just know that we're gonna need some quick and easy options because neither of us are going to feel like cooking. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a like and make sure you're subscribed so you can stay tuned and see some more of my content. I love every each and one of you who have joined my little YouTube family. All right, bye.